Okay, so I'm Florent Gravin. I'm uh, working at Camp to Camp as a research and development lead. And uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Bear Map Studio, which is a new way to build your, uh, your map and publish your map based on vector tiles. So it's based on Bear Maps, which is, which is yet another MVT server, but it has the singularity to be a full package MVT server with OSM data integration pipeline, facilities to cache the output in S3 or buckets. Uh, there is a map putnik which is integrating. So everything is made to ease uh, the publication of your own vector tiles stream with your own style. Uh, yes. Uh, one thing is the, the tile set definition. It's the way uh, bear maps uh, display and the content of the vector tiles. So for each layer, you have different queries depending on zoom level, and it's directly SQL queries. So actually, in the end, it's aggregate all these queries, parallelize them, and give the content of the vector tiles. So from this, we, had, we wanted to leverage the power of PostGIS to be able to construct and to define the content, complex content inside our, within our vector tiles. So on top of that, we added a module called the Studio with an OGC API uh, API compliant for tiles, styles, and tile sets. So there is a REST API to control this tile set and the styles. What does it mean? It means we are able from the web to create, uh, to, 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 yes, to elaborate the content of uh, your, our MVTs. A use case to illustrate that, the car accident in Britain. So here we develop a prototype a studio to use the, the, the API. So you can add and c connect to a data source. So here I have my car accident as a GeoJSON file. So actually when I push it, it push the data set and ingest that into PostGIS. Then the data set is present in my local storage and I can load it in my map. When I load the data set in my map, actually it uploads the tile set definition and it adds a select star from the, the table which has been created. Then, bare maps gives these dots as, uh, these points as in the vector tile stream. You also have a usual edition of the style, so nothing fancy there, but you can change the style of your, uh, your, your, your point, do data driven styles, and so on. So here, what, what, what happened is that there is the data inside of the, of the PostGIS and bear maps uh, provide the data within a, a vector tile stream. Now, because there is PostGIS behind that, it's just a select star, but we can see there is a department code inside of the data set. So we can do spatial join. And here, from the same data set, PostGIS, uh, the bear maps, in the vector tiles does not contain point, but contain polygon with the aggregation and the count of accident per uh, department. Because there is PostGIS, you can do spatial joins, you can use PostGIS function like xbin, and everything you want to uh, value the content of your data. So here, everything is done on the server and nothing is done on the client. You can have several data sets per tile set, of course, and you can combine OSM data with your own data because uh, bear maps allow you to integrate easily uh, OSM data set. So it's based on bear maps, bear map studio, all the requests are done with PostGIS and we embrace the ecosystem of my box with the tile set and the styles. This is the example of the automatic joins which are made when you push your, um, your, your tile set, so attribute and spatial. The style is very easy, using map of style to do choropleth. And in the end, it's just one stream of vector tiles that can contain points, aggregation, polygons, xbin, whatever, and one map box style, et voila, you have your map published on the web. Uh, for the, the last second, okay, so it's finished. If you check, the, check out the, the presentation, you can find a video uh, with more example. And uh, that's it, thank you.